Hi friends, it's Shell. I have this card I wanted to share with you and it is for Use Your Stamp Monday which is put on by Steph over at Brown, Brown Baby Craftaholic and Kim at Kim Possible and I'll leave both their links below and um, the point of their um, challenge is to get us to use our stamps more and that is the perfect challenge for me because I started out with stamps and used my stamps all the time pretty much daily years ago and then I've gotten off into other paper crafts and stuff and though I still use my stamps some they do get neglected so I really like the idea of this challenge so um, go on over visit their uh, channels and check out this challenge and take part so you can find out all the details on either of their channels and um, get your stamps out and get using them if you're like me you might have to dust them off so anyhow this card which is a Thanksgiving card um, the background is a napkin and it is has a little bit of glitter on it I think you can see and um, the way I did the napkin on there was I crinkled the napkin up first and then I um, used some Mod Podge to apply the napkin to some uh, watercolor paper and the reason I use watercolor paper is because it stands up better to you know a wet medium like Mod Podge and uh, then I put a coat of Mod Podge over the napkin and sprinkled the glitter in it while it was you know while the Mod Podge was still wet and the leaves are a stamp um, I stamped them on acetate and cut them out and uh, I used some of my Art Institute glitter, uh, their glue that dries clear that's made to use with glitter, and I put it on the back of the acetate, the opposite side from which I stamped, and um, applied the glitter, let it dry, and it takes quite a while to dry, at least here in Florida, of course it's quite humid here um, takes at least 24 hours sometimes longer for the glitter and the glue well not the glitter to dry but the glue to dry here so anyhow expect a long drying time and then um, you can use either um, you know your clear drying glue or um, you know like a crystal lacquer or something to adhere the leaves to your projects then and the ribbon is from my stash and uh, the sentiment is a stamp from uh, the stamps of life I just love their stamps. I'm not affiliated with them, um, but my sister uh, sends me stamps from them, and they are the nicest quality clear stamps I've ever used. Um, I started out 
many, many years ago in rubber stamping. And, of course, I started out with the red rubber stamps. And when clear stamps came out, um, I've just never been as keen on clear stamps as the red rubber stamps because it just seemed like often um, they didn't take the inks as well even you know I'd use an eraser or a emery board or whatever to scuff up the stamp and stuff but they still didn't take the inks as well and you couldn't use certain inks on them and blah 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 but uh, I'll tell you these stamps from the Stamps of Life they stamp crisp and clear right out of the pack. I've never had to uh, do anything with the surface as far as scuffing them up with an eraser or an emery board or anything. Very happy with the quality of them. So anyhow, so that's my sentiment from our home to yours and then inside. Happy Thanksgiving and I, you know, I have the top flap, uh, have the printed paper there and then a strip down the side and then the Happy Thanksgiving and a little pumpkin. So that is my card and if you have any questions you can leave them below and don't forget to go over and visit Steph and Kim at their channels and I hope you all have a really wonderful Thanksgiving each one of you with your families and uh, stay safe if you're traveling. Bye bye.